Hi guys, thanks for tuning in to another episode of Cheryl's Home Cooking. So let's get started. Today what I'm going to show you is my blueberry buckle coffee cake. The ingredients that you'll need are two cups of all-purpose flour, three-fourths cups of sugar, two and a half teaspoons of bacon powder, a fourth of a cup of shortening, three-fourths cup of milk, one egg, and two cups of fresh blueberries. So I have my oven preheated at 375. In my bowl, I'll place my two cups of flour, my three-fourths cups of sugar, two and a half teaspoons of bacon powder, that's two, and a half, a fourth of a cup of shortening, which is four tablespoons. I'll place it in. Now I'll place my bowl on top of my mixer. I'll add in the one egg. three-fourths cup of milk, I'll put my paddle attachment on. Once this is all blended, then I'll add in my two cups of fresh blueberries. So I'll put my mixer on. Now I'll scrape down my sides, making sure everything's mixed good. I'll take the batter off my paddle attachment. That's perfect. That's what it will look like. So now I'll place my mixer off to the side. I have an 8 by 11 bacon pan. I'll spray my 8 by 11 baking pan with some cooking spray. I'll place that off to the side. I'll take my two cups of fresh blueberries and gently fold them into my mixture. That's what it'll look like. So now I'll take my mixture and place it in my baking pan. This blueberry buckle coffee cake is really good. I have some friends coming over. I figured we'd have blueberry coffee cake and some coffee. <clears throat> so I'll spread it on the bottom so it's all even.
That's perfect. I'll place it off to the side and now I'll make the crumb topping. For your crumb topping, you'll need a half a cup of sugar. So I'll place the half a cup of sugar in my bowl. Along with a fourth of a cup of flour. I'll place my fourth of a cup of flour in my bowl. A half a teaspoon of cinnamon. Now to my sugar, flour, and cinnamon, I'll add in a fourth of a cup of butter, softened butter. Now I'll take a fork and mix this all together. Once it's all blended together, then I'll sprinkle it on top and this is the crumb topping. And you'll bake this in your 375 degree oven for about 45 to 50 minutes or until the wooden pick or toothpick comes out clean. And this is best served warm. That's what your mixture will look like. So now I'll take the topping and spread it on top. And this is what I call my blueberry buckle coffee cake. So into the oven it goes. Now I'll check on my blueberry buckle coffee cake. It's time to take my blueberry buckle coffee cake out of the oven. So I'll turn my oven off. Oh yeah, that looks perfect. And like I said, this is best served warm, but I'm gonna let this sit right now because it's really hot. Smells good. See how quick and easy it was to make this blueberry buckle coffee cake? Really smells good. Now I'll give it a try. Take a fresh blueberry. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Mmm. It's really good. Deserves a second bite. Mmm. Super duper good. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Well, thanks so much for tuning in to another episode of Cheryl's Home Cooking and watching me make my homemade blueberry buckle coffee cake. Give it a try. I'll see you guys next video. Bye-bye. Thanks so much for tuning in to another episode of Cheryl's Home Cooking and watching me make one of my family's favorite recipes. Give it a try.